But Putin here, I mean, uh, not Putin, Joe Biden, yesterday, September 2nd, 2022. Oh, look, I'm the only one watching. This is the United Nations Russia Ukraine news. Oh, well. But he was talking about Putin, and so this is all stirring up the latest. 77, 77th session, United Nations General Assembly. This takes place from September 20th to 22nd. So today, okay, so it's only a three day, well, four, maybe three and a half. Let's see what else we got here. So here, Zelensky's speech live. Day three. So today is day three. How do Oz and Fetterman stack up? Fetterman will vote with Bernie Sanders Today's to drive up utility rates. Fetterman stands with AOC and her Green New Deal. September 22nd. They were ready for them, but they talk about the talks but announce military mobilization. They talk about the talks but announce pseudo referendums in the occupied territories of Ukraine. Apparently it's it's only from twentieth to twenty first, twenty second, twenty I mean until the twenty second. So today would be the ending of it, right? What's gonna be the conclusion? Did uh they come up with a solution or something. Food insecurity and only Russia can end it. I'm grateful for the work here at the UN. Work here. Your leadership, Mr. Secretary General. Grateful. Establishing a mechanism to export grain from black sea ports in Ukraine that Russia had blocked for months. We need to make sure it's extended. We believe strongly in the need to feed the world. That's why the United States is the world's largest supporter of the World Food Program. Yes, sir. With more than 40% of its budget. As it's saying live now. Leading support. Oh, it started. Leading support of the UNICEF efforts to feed children around the world. And to take on a larger challenge of food insecurity, the United States introduced a call to action. So sudden destruction comes when they start saying peace and safety, right? UN? Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? Peace and safety or sudden destruction? This is the main topic, but there's a lot of great information. The peace and safety or sudden destruction? Well, for when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. But what's going to be destroyed? God, it's not my job. It's, God didn't call me. To start some, some, if he had, I would do it. If he called me to start a company to do something, I'd go do it. How about like a hood making business, making like fiberglass hoods for cars and stuff? You in the cars, Paul? I would, because I was always willing to do whatever the Lord wanted me to do. He just told me to preach the gospel. And he told me, preach it to every creature, to every person, and ask them, do they want to be saved? Be saved. I want to be don't saved. Don't be ashamed of this. Say, this is crazy. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. it. Oh, I'm you not. just do it. I right. will save them. Right. I will deliver them. I will heal them. You need to be saved. I want you to type. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Let's do Smith wants to be saved. God, I'm so scared. For this crooked generation. I want to be saved. You oh, even find can you help me? In the earth Someone else right there. Robin, Robin Hood wants to be saved. Hey, thanks, Paul. Look it out, buddy. Ral wants to be saved. In the earth Someone else right there. Robin, Robin Hood wants to be saved. What a beautiful story. Here's why I need to be saved, Paul. Because I'm nothing but a demon, okay? 
animating a robot. So make sure everybody stay the F away from this channel, man. Including Robin Henry Tees. And we all know that everything that's attached to Robin is of the devil. Okay, because he's beast. Beast. Thanks, Steve. In strolls your intercessor, your mighty man. And he stands between you and that accuser. And he hopefully will make complete sense to you, hopefully, when you, you finally realize what's going on. Beware, Robin's a wolf in the hood. He likes to turn things upside down just like them. They have taught him well. Well, as of December 14, 2018, I was only getting started. Two kings speaking lies, slain with, within seven days. So within seven years, two kings will be slain. By October 24th, I mean, which year is that? And then I got in the title as of September 29th, 2019. It's almost three years from now. Because I came after Stephen James first. And then when you got three and a half years later. October 24th. Three and a half later. Like from Stephen James to Sean. As in the first and then the second. Beast. Is beast of Revelation for a thousand. Stephen James to Sean. Ding, 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 You are correct. How did so I see Rob. See why people call him a false prophet. However, let's say that was true because I, let's just go with, all right, let's, because that's what I do. I take both sides of, of the equation and I think about it and I let it rest for a while if I can't come up to a conclusion and then I'll revisit it later on. So let's just say that Jonathan Click is the false prophet, like literally in the Bible, that's what's being played out. So let's just say that that's what it is, September 21st, 2022. On September 22nd, the next day, which is today. So, last night when I did my the video that I didn't want to do, but the Lord told me I had to do it. I had to call They said, I stand against you, Jonathan, you're a false prophet. They're speaking to the very person that the Lord God sent to lay hands on her. That's September 22nd, 2022. And Stephen James Deshaun is the beast because he's Cain, Clex Abel. Now, that was delivered by the Lord God working through me. It's not Jonathan Cleck that did it. That's why when people call me a false prophet and say, I stand against you, I know the end has come. So when people call you a false prophet and then, and then they stand against you, you know the end has come. But when they... Just you. So... If I needed to make a pick at this moment today on September 21st, 2020, I would say that John DeClick and Stephen James Sean play a really good, they're really good candidates for being the beast, Stephen James Sean, and the false prophet, Jonathan Cleck. Created he them. Elohim. Done. <laughs> And you can't argue with it because it's all their own evidence used against them. Just like the evidence last night. And it was heartbreaking for me. But now.
hey, uh, you know, just gotta, I got to do my job and show how I was able to convert people from one spirit to another. Need to this is it. This is it. Last night after I did the video, I sat here and I just said, Lord, I need to know. Just, I'm so exhausted emotionally, mentally. I've been doing this for 20 years. I looked over here and I, there's some papers and I reached over and the Lord gave me this. I've fought the good fight. I've finished the race. I've kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but all I would say to John DeClick and Steve and James Sean play a really good, they're really good candidates for being the beast, Steve and James Sean, and the false prophet, Jonathan Click. Now let's, let's, really enjoy ourselves y'all ready okay so let me show you a word real quick uh steve sent this to me today it's super cool uh he just sent me a little text said man this stuff is everywhere and he's right including robin henry tease and we all know that everything that's attached to robin is of the devil everywhere when you're awake see there it is no different exact same thing but look at bell b-e-l do y'all know who bell is Bell, that's a pagan, pagan god, the devil, say, Bell, think about re, Bell, Bell, think about refurbished, <laughs> think about renewed, yeah, re, Bell, so what about like re, attach, re, Bell, look at the word again. R -E you kidding me? And then Bell. It's basically Bell with with the two. You got Bell, and then you got you got Cain. Okay, because he's beast, beast. He's controlled beast. Okay, because he's beast. Attached to Robin is of the devil. Okay, because he's beast. 2,000 days I've, I've been in this this other world in my head. and But it's not just in my head now. Yeah, it is. Like oh, a yeah. Luciferian spirit. That's right, like yep. The that's, top Luciferian. That's what Steve said. Does that make him Lucifer? Or does that make him the deputy? Of Lucifer, because Lucifer, Satan, and Satan hires L Lucifer, to, or Satan, uh, yeah, hires Lucifer to take his place and like kind of help others worship him. Last night, when I did my the video that I didn't want to do, but the Lord told me I had to do it. I had to call him out. Sift through them, the little Satans. And then, and then towards the end, I got to find the people in charge and start to call them out. This is a calling out. I'm calling you out. Amen. So, last night when I did my the video that I didn't want to do, but the Lord told me I had to do it. I had to call them out. And then, at, and then towards the he end, said, I, I got to find Jonathan the people in charge prophet. and start to call them out. The very person that the Lord God sent to this is a calling to. out. I'm calling you out. You know, of the world. I'm calling you out. Against you, Jonathan, you're a false prophet. <laughs> uh, it, it's so great because it's true. And there's a bunch of you that know it.
The game's coming, I guarantee it. There's no doubt about it. Oh, by the way, I walked in to show this to Corey, and I walked in his room, and Corey had a little, he had some movie on, like, about, like, World War One or something. And World War One ended 11-11-2018, but it did start on my birthday, June 28th. Not that I was born back then that I'm aware of. He had the the sub the uh, closed caption on, and it and when I walked in to show him this because I told him about it last night, I was like, it was so cool what the Lord gave me last night. I'll show it to you. And Satan to get behind him because it's that time. Satan is exhausted, exhausted. I'm so exhausted emotionally, mentally. I've been doing this for 20 years. If behind that, that's that side, five, the right side. And then on the left, it's six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine mirrors. with these two trees and it's about it's about mirroring the image a rat has much major authority in being able to do that because even satan can act like like satan can act like a false prophet right he could satan like the dragon gives his power to the beast steve james is a beast in charge along with the currency system the banking the rothschilds makes it very clear chase bank that kind of thing so the beast satan can give him his controlled beast his authority anyway. just, just satan alone this the, just like the spirit of god has given me my authority you know perfect the gospel that he's given me the understanding is absolute perfection there's no way out of it it's all supported by the Word of God. And Here's the problem. Most of us have stopped with the good news right there. The blood of Jesus Christ has been shed and he was killed. And I want you to know that is unbelievable news. So in other words, think about it like this. I don't know if anybody's ever said it before. Who knows? Maybe I maybe have said it before, but not, in a, not with the two. That is unbelievable news. What's unbelievable news? Well, that he was killed. I want you to know. This is a crucifixion that happened to him. And when there's a crew that they write fictional stories, that would be the, the crew of fiction. They write fiction stories. What's the word fiction? Well, it's, a, it's like novels, stories, creative writing, imaginative writing. It works on the imagination. Narration, storytelling, basically. It's a, a fable. It's something that was invented. That, you know, lies, fibs, opposed to truth and fact. So a crew of people that write fictional stories. And when this guy's telling you these exact words. With the good news right there. The blood of Jesus Christ has been shed and he was killed. And I want you to know that is unbelievable. Let's stop right there again. He was killed. I just want you to know that was unbelievable. It's so unbelievable that you can't even believe it the way they told you that it happened in a crucifixion. A crucifixion is something that's fake. A crew that makes fictional stories will make up stories about a crucifixion. So that's my take. It's, it's, it, he means it's unbelievable news because it's not believable. I just want you to know that.
He was killed. That's unbelievable. And it's a crucifixion. Crucifixion. I don't think I ever thought of it. I just thought of it today. Like, wow, I wonder if anybody thinks it's a crucifixion. Fiction. Fiction. Words, because I know the serpent's language, it's it's similarities. And when you get the word crew and fiction in the same sentence, it reminds me of a crew that writes fictional stories. Number 21st, the day of peace, where no wars are supposed to be fought. Nobody should be doing anything naughty. It's okay. We'll see what happens. Now let's take a look at this peace day. 21. Peace Day, September. I guess it's like a dove with an olive branch in its mouth. And it says UN Headquarter and the Peace Bell was donated by United States Association Japan. Peace Bell. So they like the number E. I mean, the letter E as well, because alphanumerically, it's a five. Now watch this. This is so cool. Okay. So Steve sent this to me, and I thought, wow, look how perfect this is. You so Steve sent him that, gave him a text message earlier. I was talking about Steve the day before. And, you know, the last five years, for that matter. But, Bill. And then... Bill. And the Bell... Donated. The peace day, then the 24th, would be three days later. Is that really going to happen? Like, is this really going to finally take place? The verse in 1 Thessalonians 5 3, 1 5 3. Is that really going to happen this by this 26th of September? So you got the prophetic meaning of Aaron Judge. Aaron and Judge. Peace of Moses. Aaron became that high priest when Moses was brought up and God showed him a picture of the things to come. And the he Lord Simeon and Aaron has to confirm the entire revelation. Beyond and Aaron. October 21st, 2020. Being sent on an errand three months prior, the water sprouted up out of nowhere once the rock was stricken on July 8th, 2020. This time, the rock, the water was sprouting up already and then it dropped at 848 and stood still. Wayne Click was sent on an errand to. Revelation. Back in October. So this is only not even two years ago. Which could resemble killing the children two years and under, like Herod. Killing the children two years and under. Coming up. And and then it's like three years before that. So it's a, a three year process. Two year process. Five-year anniversary, Revelation 12 signs tomorrow. Today is 9-22-2022, 9 9 p.m. The picture of the priest that would come. Aaron would be a picture of that. That's why he was in charge of the priesthood. He was a judge, if you will. And judge the earth. Why do you think we'll judge angels? September 22nd, 2022. Talking about judging the angels. September 21st, 2022. Talking about Aaron. Judge. The one who hit the 60th home run. Hey, Jonathan Click, aren't you 60 years old? As a matter of fact, let me look at this. Let me do this. This little timetable here. You were born 316. 
1967, right? I mean, uh, 60 or 1962. Cause you said you were 60, turned 60 this year. So that would mean as of today, as of today, you're 60 years, <laughs> six months, and six days old. Question for Joe? One more question, Joe. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. You got it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when. It doesn't matter whether it's in six days, six days, or six weeks. We're going to get it done. We're going to get it done, man. They're going into, depending on what time, during the day, evening into morning. So it's all the way up until the 23rd. Jonathan Clegg is 60 years, six months, and six days old. So going into the actual 23rd itself, from the day I started my first YouTube video, April 2nd, 2017, what is tomorrow will be 2,000 days. It'll be 55 and 21. So I'm working on the fives, five, five, and then if you get to October, midnight of the 21st, it'll take you to twenty first, be twenty two thousand twenty nine days, which is at the end. October 22nd, 2022, at the end of the day, Harold Camping's world would be five years, five months, and 50 days. And so on the 21st, I was saying, I already made my prediction that at 5.55 a.m., 17th JFK, Chase Building, Penn Center Building 8, would match... Uh, the bombing, the uh, explosion that's on the back of a $50 bill on Harold Camping's world because Barack Obama showed up two years ago and that was like a that was like a marking period of killing children two years and under or juxtaposition of the three years first and then the two years after that. Or the two years, yeah, yeah, two years first, then in three years. Either way, number five is atonement. Reconcile back to God again. Excited to see a record be broken by Aaron Judge of the Yankees. The 60 tying in with Aaron Judge and Jonathan Clegg, 60 years old, and he just got a subpoena to be a part of the jury, saying like in a criminal trial. So here's the thing. Let's say the bombing happens. I get locked up. I get accused of it. And 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 then, but on the jury, it won't actually be, I, I won't see Jonathan Clegg there, but it'll be somebody there that's on the jury that is part of it. It's like, maybe I have to go through this court process and have it proven and use the jury, like I said. But I'm, I'm whatever. Whatever happens, happens. And judge the earth. Why do you think we'll judge angels? We'll judge the other angels that never got converted, that refused. By virtue of the fact that we've been made one in Christ, we become that. Do you understand? We are the temple of God. Like I did with the Super Bowl or one of these things. I don't have any uh, crystal ball. I have no idea of what's going to go down. I just went on YouTube. That's it. I look into, into the future, like into a crystal ball. I don't have any uh, crystal ball. I have no idea of what's going to go down. But I think that it would be wonderful if that record was broken. I don't know who said it first. I... I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't see your video, but I seen it later on. So maybe mine uploaded first. Eight, nine. 
what I do know is to mirror, have to have mirrors intertwined with these two trees. I found out that there was nine mirrors today. See the reflection on it. So there's not nine. See the reflection on it. So there's nine mirrors caught between I didn't know it was sideways. two different <clears throat> trees from above falling like the fallen angels falling down. E right side up. The so this looks like a bank, right? It's a bank. E upside down. Roman numeral five, Roman numeral five, five and five. Roman numeral five, Roman numeral five and five, five fifty five, Chase Bank. Everybody's chasing the bank. The house of Cain taking a hit. Five and five, five fifty five. But I don't know, I mean, from October 22nd, you got five years, five months, and 50. There's your $50 bill. For Harold Camping's world. I, I just don't want to, I don't want to miss out on the actual specific date because I predicted so many dates and it's like, I don't know, I, you know, I'll probably never know. It's like Christ comes as a thief in the night. You're not, you can't truly know what time in the night because if this is in the morning well if that's in the morning anytime soon within this month or even next month for sure it's dark out at 5 55 it's nighttime e and e it's all the same rebel that's how when the lord shows up that's how you get assimilated to him because you've been converted and you become one in christ you have the holy spirit so his spirit when he comes will take what belongs to him because it's the same but that which is different cleanse your hearts you double minded who i am like noah i'm the before the fire guy did y'all know that Putin is warning the U.S. over and over, y'all are putting me in a position that I have no choice. If you don't stop arming the Ukraine, I am going to nuke you. My main point is this. America will be bombed by Russia. Russia. I'm saying this back on April 9th. 2017, which was exactly seven days after I joined the, the YouTube platform. This is my message to whoever <coughs> whoever wants to read it. But what will they do, the people, if they think we're being nuked? What do you think people are going to do? I'm going to nuke you, and you know, they just, I'm going to nuke you, and you needed one to take down Goliath. Goliath, by the way, has six fingers and six toes. Six, 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 number of carnal man, the giant. Six, six, six. Jonathan Clegg is 60 years old, six months and six days today. The giants that we are going to be facing in the land. <clears throat> the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, this is the ordinance of the law which the Lord commanded. Fountains of water. Well, that just turned on now, obviously. I want to show you something. Just go to Janadi. Speak to the children of Israel that they bring you a red heifer without spot, where there's no blemish, upon which never came a yoke. 
meaning a belief system. You're not like married to a certain religion. That's a yoke. Don't become unequally yoked. Doesn't mean, just to give you an example of where this is coming from, where you get this red heifer from, five years from that sign, five heifers, five. Five years from that sign, five heifers, five. That reminds me of 555 again, <clears throat> where the bank is, back at a $50 bill. <clears throat> David took five smooth stones out of the uh, ford, the river. He only he took five of them out of the river. Here comes the water. Definitely get some stones over there with that water. Even with this, I need to show you something. Mysterious water shut down. They never had a yoke on them. They were never burdened. They were never told what to do, where to go. Spiritually speaking, it's significant. Not there are all the you know ones that are in charge. Many people teaching on this. And you shall on this. And you shall give her to Eleazar the priest, that he may bring forth without the camp, and one day shall slay her before his face, that he may bring forth without the camp, and you shall give her to Eleazar before his face, before his face. You shall give her to Eleazar the priest, that he may bring forth without the camp, and one day shall you shall give her to Eleazar the priest. That he may bring forth without the camp and one. Well, the water's going to recede and then it's going to rise back up again. Reading should be an adventure. And this story you're going to find by the end of the, sh of the book is about you. And let's go here. This is from the book of Numbers. Just to give you an example of where this is coming from, where you get this red heifer from. Five years from that sign, five heifers. And that sign, five years. I'll be at it for five years, five months, and 21 days from tomorrow when this happens. And that also turns out Five years, five months, 21 days. It's 2,000 days. Perhaps for thousands of years. It's got, you know, a thousand years to God is like a day. September 20th, 22nd. Man, Rocket Man, that's right. Thank you very much. That's interesting. <laughs> Getting ready to land on the South Lawn and... <laughs> Getting ready to land. Good man. There. Black Adam's coming out. How many people are aware of uh, of uh, of this movie with The Rock? Because you know, of course, I was also the writer for The Rock. How does this happen? This little old guy, right? Me. All these main players, and I'm you know somehow connected to it. It's very strange. Robin Henry Tees, and we all. By the way, Robin. For this crooked generation, you even find faith in the earth. Someone else right there. Robin, Robin Hood wants generation. to be saved. Forgive us now. Todd. Jeez. I want to thank Mr. Philadelphia Trout what our last name is. That went over and checked out Robin's channel. Robin does some uh, some some interesting work. He's he's followed me for a little while. He's had some things trying to figure me out, but I love him. Well, these main players, and I'm you know somehow connected to it. It's very strange. Poster teasing. Strange. A little little who? Genesis. 
I'm just getting started. I'm just giving you a little teaser right now. The new year, we're sounding the alarm. You see the picture of the uh, the ram's horn there. It's a... Um, it's. You watch. You're going to see. I, I have utter, total utter faith in my communication with the Father. I said, should I get it? And I ended up getting it last night. 19 bucks, fell asleep through half of it. But basically... That's a jinn right there. That's a demon. That's a devil. The jinn, you know, the uh, the genie that's in the bottle. Going to give that three wishes out. September 20th, 2022. Hell, you know what? Maybe I'll even only take two wishes. September and I'll 20th. grant the third wish to the genie, giving me three wishes, and then he can wish himself to whatever he wants to do. A devil, a demon being released. Movies out, right? Strange. Stranger. September 20th, 2022. And I'm talking about the three wishes of the genie in the bottle a week prior saying I, I want the uh, I want the access to the app. It's just basically app access to everything. But first, the app and the microphone be able to talk in people's ears. George Miller, same guy. Can't find where I said it, but I said it's three years in the making between me and Click. Three years and, and in the making. Same guy. Straight being crucified daily, picking up my cross. I literally did an example. Crucified daily, picking up my cross. Crucified by Matthew Daly, picking up my cross. I was I was crucified daily, and by Matthew Daly, for picking up my cross. Hey Robin, you know I'm not like I don't hate you, dude. Yes, you do. You know that? No, I do know that. You hate See, me. Robin's in the channel. You sure weren't showing any love. You guys, you guys ready? Now, now I bet you guys are gonna start talking crap to Robin, right? Because I. Hey, now that Robin's in chat, you guys ready? Now you're going to start talking crap to Robin. Hey, Robin's there. You guys ready? Now you're going to start talking crap to Robin, aren't you? Because it's, do it, he's here. They already knew. Oh, you are trolling. <laughs> hey, Robin, you know I'm not like, I don't hate you, dude. Yes, you do. You know that. No, I do know that. You hate See, me. See, Robin's in the channel now. You, guys, you guys ready? Now, now. Guys, ready? Now. Now I bet you guys are gonna start talking crap to Robin, right? That was a command. That wasn't a question. That was a command. Because I, I bet they already I knew. Uh, nine Tail Fox being released, and all the weird coincidence about that. The nine, nine mirrors caught between two different trees replica of the Temple Mount and everything in Jerusalem there. It's weird, right? I think you're talking about Philly because the holy place. Sometimes just, I'll just talk about it instead of showing everything. Ooh, it's a bird. It's a crane. Because now, I'm stressed out about all these other things. We know there's a lot of things going on in the Holy Land. It's the Holy Land. Philadelphia, the landscape, the holy place. St. Peter's Park, before the art museum. Back the other Holy Land when I was standing there, October 21st, 20, uh, 2020. It's a big V. Stand there. Holy place. Ground. After it went down. Show you something. Barack Obama read about the holy place. And he was saying 8.48 a.m. Be still. There's a lot of things going on in the actual other holy land, believe it or not. Hey, you. It's a bird. It's a crane. Who did? The, hey, you. Down there. The holy place. Hey, Robin. It's me. <laughs> I'm up here, I'm washing the windows. 
brain. Yeah. There's uh, an exact replica. I bet you didn't know this. There's an exact replica of the Temple Mount and everything in Jerusalem there. It's weird, right? People are making pilgrimages there. I'm in the Philly. Wouldn't that be something if the, if the actual Church of Philadelphia winded up being a literal? The literal Church of Philadelphia is where once it's destroyed, they come there and then they, they make up pilgrimages, pilgrimages there and they become the Church of Philadelphia. Trident. Smack dab in the middle. Right in the middle, the, the Logan Square is in the, the smack dab in the middle of that. Because the trident, I'm going to have to show you this now. And it's just what came to me. Quite a shifty shadow there. But here's the trident, smack dab in the middle. Look at the all seeing eye. Well, three, three of them, like Peter, John, and James, or these, these, uh, it's the sea creatures, the swans. There's two female, one male. So that's the idea, to look more like an eyeball. Night, blue eye, trident. Smack dab in the middle. Try. Dent. Making pilgrimages there. Trident. Smack dab in the middle, right there. Wow. Right? Wow. Interesting. 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 Rosh Hashanah is upon us. Now that you mentioned all that landscape that I, or even in my head I've mentioned it, it reminded me of it. You got September 26th, you got September 27th, but you don't have September, I mean, 25th, 27th. But but you don't have the 26th of September. Sudden destruction that's upon us. Sunset in six days at sunset. At night, all. This comes a thief in the night, five to five in the morning. It's still dark out. 17th and JFK in Philly. But it seems too soon because... Maybe that's what starts things off. And then at the end, the nuke, maybe the nuke hits at the very end on October 21st, 2022 in Philly. And then that's the beginning of the end. And then they, the, the Church of Philadelphia gathers together and starts to take over. We are going to sound the alarm. Should I go get it? I should go get it, right? All right, I'll go get it. Remember I talked about the Super Bowl and the Rams winning by three? I said, oh, maybe seven or three, but I think it's going to be three because it's going to be like last minute type thing. That's what happened. Last, last minute type thing. So Rosh Hashanah, the new year, we're sounding the alarm. You see the picture of the, uh, the Rams horn there. It's a, um, it's big. Around the same time, guess what else is happening? Because we're talking about... Knock an asteroid off course. There's, It's just, it's way... You know, I, I've said these things. I thought some some things have come past. It, it just seems like it... Ah, they're saying it's going to happen. But when everybody's collaborating together, and it's coming, and you want to talk about September 23rd, and then what happens three days later is even Stephen James is looking at 26, 2022, talking about that. It's all about 555. Keep mentioning these, these 555 numbers. And to knock an asteroid off course with its dark spaceship, if a, if a rock hits a boulder, if a boulder hits the building, at 17th and JFK, Chase Bank, because it's referring to Kane's uh, money system. Uh, if a rock asteroid falls from heaven, 
and hits it. You know, nobody's going to die because it's not really, it's just going to be a big old image coming down and an explosion and they make sure they get everybody out, just like they did with the Nashville bomb. Just like I said they would. If, if you see that, that, you know, you're clearly going to believe that nobody died in the bomb, and then they come on the next day and say that nobody died, except for the bomber. So with a rock, that would represent the same thing as when Cleck was saying that the rock fell from the guy that got crushed by a boulder. His name was Ortiz or something. It meant dominant ruler. So that rock hit that. And then he saw my asteroids, which is a rock representing Christ hitting hitting the uh, smashing into the system and crushing the head, wounding it. It looks like I'm going to have to go to 26 before I'd hate to get a wrong prediction. I mean, I'd hate to miss out on a prediction thinking it wouldn't happen with all the other predictions I made and to not make one and say not to not say September 26, 2022. I think an asteroid is going to hit. Uh, I mean, it's what I'm thinking anyway. It's going to hit 17 JFK area. 5.55 in the morning. They're going to blow the horn. It's a new year. About the twins all the time on the show. I've talked about the duality of man. I find it not coincidental at all that. And what I mean by it's not coincidental, I mean that this is done on purpose. That Definitely done on purpose. NASA is about to knock an asteroid off course. Suppose. Watch out, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, watch out. It heads up. It's 9-22-2022. Heads up around the 26th of September. What day is that going to be? What is the 26th? Today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Don't go to work Monday. It might it might hit Liberty One and Two in Philly as well, or even the William Penn Building. Supposedly, not really. It's a little moon. See, not really. They're they're supposed to be not really. They're they're knocking off of rock, of course, but not really. Called Dimorphus, Didymus is the bigger asteroid of the two. The idea is to hit Dimorphos, to smash into it, to see that if it can change the trajectory of it. The bigger the two. Liberty two, Liberty one is bigger than Liberty. Liberty one is bigger than Liberty two. If it smashes into that. Really, it's a little moon called Dimorphos. Didymus is the bigger asteroid of the two. The idea is to hit Dimorphos, to smash into it, to see that if it can change the trajectory of it. Spooky. 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 Spooky because it's the twins. So the twin towers, Liberty 1 and Liberty 2, they're mirrored twins. Spooky because of what Dimorphos means. Dimorphos means you, you have two natures and you're like transformed. It's a big transforming going on. There's a big manipulation of what man is going on. It's all very strange. A lot of people are concerned because the queen had the goat and all that. We're going to talk about it. But this is a new day. This is a new era. This is a new time for us to enter a new dimension, if you will. Meaning the spiritual one. However, people are going to start. This artist over here that we don't need to uh, talk about too much has an event opening up. On September 24th, called Gates and Portals. Yeah, it's talking about Billy Barth, are you? Because I remember Kim Jean was talking about him a lot. Billy Barth, Bill Gates, opening up portals. You read the name. I don't need to tell you. Think of the picture with the uh, animal in, yep. in, in her hands. That's animal sacrifice. Interesting stuff. Sp because little portals can be opened up where people are fleeing to the mountains like Mount Rushmore to get in the portal, but also opening up the portals by the technology doing that 
that surgery, opening up the holy place. Spooky oh, stuff. Um, Israel criticism. Sabra would be like an ex Mossad agent. And, you know, they're going to be dealing supposedly with bridging gaps and everything else. But I'm more focused on the fact that Israel now has a superhero. Okay. Or the destruction is the asteroid hits my house and destroys my house only. And everybody get, gets to laugh at it behind the scenes. Maybe it, maybe, it, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I just found it strange. The bad guy in this movie is known as the leader. The leader. Let me show you a picture of this guy. He, um, he was on the uh, thumbnail. You see him right up there, top left. That's the leader. He's an incredible genius. He battled the Hulk in uh, 2008, that movie, and he had a cut in his head. And some of the uh, Hulk's blood got in him. If you're watching that, it's not not great on Disney Plus. The uh, She Hulk, it's not not great. <laughs> know that his victory is only found in their defeat. He's a giant among men. His presence brings great key, uh, kings to their knees. He's a, he's a cool character. Elias Lifdot. Very cool character. Scary. Spooky. Powerful. Like he's a, he's a cool character. Elias Lifdot. Very cool character. Scary. Spooky. Powerful. Like a wizard. If you will... Because he has power to convince people with his words to do things they wouldn't normally or naturally do. You know, that can also be a good thing as a wizard, where you can convince people to do things that they never did before, which is repent, turn from your sin, and stop doing it. So you're it's like, man, this guy's like a wizard. How did he get them to do that? Ah, he convinced them of words that they never thought they'd do before, and they never did until now interesting times. So the fact that the leader in this is, you know, this guy in the movie, it's strange. Stranger still that I can't get away from this. Everybody keeps you know, retweeting this out. Now the guy who wrote this, he's not like a best-selling author. This is not a huge book. I don't know why everybody's making such a big deal out of it. President Donald J. Trump, the son of man, the Christ. Saw that Starlink is now active over everything. I wrote ominous. I'm in this. Jacob Israel 71. Ominous. I'm in this. Steve was doing a video where he said that's 71 Rothschild Boulevard. 71 Rothschild Boulevard. Link is now active over everything. I wrote ominous because it freaks me out a little bit. Caesar, he was um, he was Caesar, and they put it on, but he was President Trump. Now Jack, the uh, Navy intelligence officer, turned really great social media influencer. You know Jack. Post of Biak. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I never do. But um, I follow him on Twitter because, you know, you got to follow all these people. He, I think he, he became very well known for, and I think he left the military, the intelligence department of the Navy, Navy intelligence officer. I believe that's what he did. 2007. So he left. The other one was taken. Caesar, here's the play to mend the fault in our stars. Very strong. 
Oh, Israeli cities. That's not so. That's the. What would you think anyway? Huh? That's 71 Rothschild Boulevard. 71. On 71. Look at Hotel Rothschild. 22. Twel Tel Aviv. Like 22. Oh. <laughs> 20. Well, back to Starlink. Okay, so it has lasers, and uh, I don't think. I hope it's not going to be, you know, blasting people from the sky. Scary. That, um,. Keith says it's scary. <laughs> Sent me this to think where this is all going. You see what I mean? I told you this is why I wanted a lot of people here because we got so much going on. And when I tie it all together, oh, it's going to really do something. Or it's the White House that gets hit on the South Lawn. Uh, an asteroid comes down and hits the White House on September 26, 2022. And that's like God's judgment, so he's sending his son, the rock, to destroy the White House because it was already struck by lightning, remember? And those people died. So I think I, I, I might have to change my prediction here and say the White House will get hit by an asteroid falling from the sky that on the south lawn. Now, this is just obviously outside of the White House. This was just a heads up, Outside remember? Outside of the White House. Next time, it's going to be a rock.